If you've ever used Google Meet, Zoom, or Discord, you might wonder, how can you talk and see someone across the world in real time? The secret is the tech you've never heard before. WebRTC. It's the tech that makes real-time video and audio work directly in your browser. But how? Before WebRTC, real-time video calls weren't so simple. Every call had to go through a central server, which made things slower, heavier on bandwidth, and sometimes required plugins or special software just to work. Basically, your data couldn't flow directly between users, which caused lag, buffering, and a clunky experience. But then, WebRTC came. It stands for Web Real-Time Communication. It's an open standard introduced in 2011 that allows browsers to send audio, video, and data directly to each other. No plugins, no extra software, and no extra servers. It basically turns your browser into a communication engine, capable of video calls, file sharing, or even multiplayer games, all in real time. But two browsers don't just magically know how to connect. WebRTC first uses something called signaling, a process where the browsers exchange a bit of info about where they are on the internet and what they can handle. Once that's done, WebRTC tries to make a direct peer-to-peer -peer connection. If both users are on simple networks, it just works. If not, WebRTC uses helper servers called Stun and Turn to figure out addresses and relay traffic when needed. When a connection is ready, data collected from your camera and mic are compressed into tiny data packets and sent directly to the other browser over UDP, a fast, low-latency protocol perfect for faster communication. If you are a developer and want to create your own video calling platform, you can go to the website webrtc.org. There you can read more about how the it works, and the best thing is they provide you with guide on how to get started with it. So that's WebRTC explained in two minutes. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more informative content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.